The aim of the RTC is to have players that we feel have potential to play for our first team. Being in the academy played a huge role in my progression as a player and also a person. You're on your own journey, you're on your own path. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, you, but you've just got to keep going and trust in the process and eventually if you work hard enough you'll come out on top. I just want to get your reactions on, on that photo. Oh God. How old are you in, in that? It's been 14. Yeah, I look young. I mean, I still look young now, but <laughs> really small. Probably 16, I think. How much do you think you've changed looking at that compared to now? A lot. <laughs> so much. Yeah. I don't like that photo. <laughs> so I first heard about Southampton's RTC Academy when I was at Hampshire Centre of Excellence. So I think that was the 2015-16 season that they announced that um, Southampton be taking over the Girls Centre of Excellence. Yeah, I actually remember we did fitness testing here once whilst um, we were still Hampshire and like driving around my mum outside, looking at all of these big gates and thinking like, wow, I was in shock. The facilities here are just like one of the best that I've seen, especially I've been quite a few places and I don't think they compare as much to here. I'd say that they're better here, like with the support around it, just the personnel that you get here. Um, I think it's also got that bit more of a personal touch, that family feeling. My name's Michelle Yule, I'm the Technical Development Manager for the RTC and I've been with the club four years in May. So the RTC is a programme that starts from players as young as under 10 and go all the way through to the under 16s and then above that we've now got the RTC Academy that also comes under my role as well. The aim of the RTC is to have players that, have, that we feel have potential to play for our first team um, so we can then develop our own homegrown talent that then goes into our uh, first team squad and can compete at the highest level. You won't have long enough for more my takes by the way. I'm Paul Carr, I'm a, I'm a technical coach uh, with the RTC Academy and I've been here, if I include the time, the original RTC, I've been here about five or six years. We're looking to develop people really, I think we're looking to grow grow them as players and, uh, and help them grow as people as well. So I think, I think that's our, our role, to give them as much experience as we can and help them grow toward first team football. And how has your season been with the current crop of RTC players here? Yeah, it's been, it's been a fantastic season. We didn't really know uh, what to expect in many ways and um, a lot of hard work by the people, um, the staff and, and all the players really has, has sort of built built some momentum and then built us as a group as well over the course of the season. So yeah, we've had a great time. I went into the game thinking as long as we perform well, there's a lot of things that we can't control. So if there's a decision that went against us, whether it be officials or anything else, you know, or just a worldly goal by the opposition, as long as we came away knowing that we'd played our football and the game plan worked, we'd have been all right. But obviously deep down, wanted to, uh, the, the aim is always to win, particularly in a cup final. But from the off, they kind of dropped off us a little bit. So they had one, one up top and then a probably like a 4-5-1 for most of the game, which suits us. We've had that a lot this season, where we've dominated in the league. A lot of teams tend to just to try and prevent us from playing. They also try to prevent us playing through the centre of the pitch, so it's quite compact. So we had to be really patient. And again, it's all stuff we've had to work on the last few weeks. We said to the players, just to be patient, keep moving the ball. As long as we've got the ball, they can't hurt us. If they haven't got it, they've got to chase us. Yeah, after the first sort of five minutes, we kind of settled into it. Um, and then getting the early goal, um, they collect on 18 minutes, kind of, settled them a little bit. We put a lot of emphasis on playing good, strong possession football and also being strong out of possession against the ball. So I think the players really went out there and showed what they could do. So Sometimes in finals, you know, the occasion is a challenge, but I felt that the girls went and showcased what they could do, which we were really, really pleased with. You know, regardless of how many we scored, 
Um, we were very keen at that point that we had a clean sheet. So I think both goalkeepers that played, so Ellen Grace did fantastic. There was a couple of high balls that went in. They dealt with those really, really well. They came through crowds of people to claim crosses. Goals are down! And again, some individual kind of brilliance from Sky to get us the penalty. Um, and then Emily to step up and take it. And again, we scored right at the end of like the 90th minute. We scored um, a corner. Um, Paul works really hard on the corner, set plays and things like that. And we've been working on them all season. <laughs> Yeah, I think it counts massively. Maybe not so much about winning the trophies, but, but certainly the experience of preparing for a big game, um, the pressure that that brings. Some of them are quite nervous, so I think in terms, of, in terms of being ready to step into that first team sort of environment, and a few of them have this season already, then, then I think it's a great, a great experience for them. I think one of the main lessons I got taught at a young age from the RTC coaches was just to enjoy it and play with a smile on my face because if you're not enjoying something there's not really any point in you doing it and also just to work hard because if you work hard and you have a goal then there's no reason why you can't achieve that goal. I think being in the academy played a huge role in my progression as a player and also a person. I met many great coaches and teammates that inspired me and I learned so much from. Without them I don't think I'd be where I am today. And when you made that step into the first team. How welcoming were the players that were there at the time? Everyone was so welcoming. welcoming. It's like your second family. I probably see them as much as I do my first family. They want to help you, they want to support you and then at the same time they challenge you. They make you work harder, they demand more from you and I think it's kind of made that positive yet healthy competitive environment that we want to be in, that we want to push each other to our limits, but yet we're around each other for the lows and then for the highs. Yeah, it, it's a nice feeling to think that we're kind of achieving our dream together. I mean, I remember being with Ellen Morris since I was like seven, six years old, um, to think now that we play like alongside each other in the first team at Southampton, I think it's kind of what an achievement it is and being able to do it with one of my best mates, I think it couldn't really be any better. So with those girls, like I'd say some of them are my best friends now. Um, get on with them all so well, especially like Kayla. We've been through the whole process together and like we made our international debuts together and yeah, just one of my best friends. I think the girls coming through the RTC Academy have so much potential and talent. The likes of Megan like making her debut for us at the age of 16, I think it was, and at St Mary's just shows what they're capable of and it's really exciting to see what other girls can come through the RTC because I've heard great things about all the youngsters in there. It's going to be a bit more of a jump for players to go from the RTC into the seniors once we do reach the championship and then ultimately if we progress again into the WSL it's a bigger jump. So the players that are going to come from the RTC in the future are going to need to be fitter, faster, stronger, more game uh, more technical on the ball, both in and out of possession, have a better technical analysis of what's going on, which is why our academy side is so crucial now. Oh, I think it's a great future. I think if the, as the first team progress, and they've been doing really well in the last years, I think as the, uh, the first team progress and, and um, achieve their aim of, of playing at the highest level, then I think it's exciting that the RTC is part of that and, and it's the pathway that feeds that first team at an elite level of women's football.